Today, I'm going to show you a few simple ways that are guaranteed to fix some annoying and potentially problematic noises, like ground loop noise, hiss, buzz, hum, computer noise, and so on. Electrical noise in audio setups is quite common, and it will typically sound like this. Or this. Or this. Studio monitors, electric guitars, amplifiers, audio interfaces, etc. are all vulnerable to ground loop noise. So what exactly is ground loop noise? Well, it usually occurs when you have multiple devices linked together through signal cables and plugged into different power outlets, which induces multiple grounding points. Fortunately, there are ways to deal with this. Devices like these will usually take care of the problem once and for all, and I'll talk more about that in a bit. But there are also some things that you can try first that won't cost you anything at all. So let's cut to the chase. Number one, and this one is free. You always want to keep signal cables away from power cables and other sources of interference. Dimmers and transformers in general are common sources of electrical noise. If it sounds like this, then the first thing you should try is to make sure both monitors are connected to the same outlet. All devices that are physically connected should ideally share the same outlet. However, if they already are and you still have issues, then try plugging one of your monitors into a different power outlet. Oftentimes, just switching outlets will cure the problem. Number two, signal cables, filters, and isolators. The most common reason for studio monitor noise problems are the signal cables themselves. There are two kinds of cables, unbalanced and balanced. Unbalanced cables are cheaper, but they are also more likely to pick up noise. If you don't already have balanced cables, then that's the first thing you should try. Good quality balanced cables will often eliminate the noise. I'll put links to some good balanced XLR cables in the links down below. Before you go ahead and buy anything, make sure that your audio interface supports balanced output. Besides balanced cables, there are also various filters and isolators you can buy, like these. They're usually quite inexpensive and often do a good job filtering out hiss and buzz. If you experience a constant 50 or 60 hertz hum, like this, it might be a ground loop issue. But if it's there consistently with only power connected, then it might be what's often referred to as transformer hum or toroidal hum. It will come from the amplifier itself. This can occur if there's any DC present on the mains. The bigger the amplifier, the more prone it tends to be for this. You can usually hear it when you put your head close to the chassis. If you're experiencing transformer hum, then this device will effectively eliminate it. The IFI DC blocker prevents the direct current from entering the amplifier, which eliminates the hum. IFI is a company that makes products for audio enthusiasts, and I found that they have some really good devices for dealing with noise-related problems. Now, the most common problem is probably ground loop noise, which brings me to the next item on my list. Number three, ground loop eliminators. Ground loops are quite common in audio setups. It's a major cause of noise, hum, and interference. It can sound like this. Or this. If it sounds like this, then the first thing you should try is to make sure both monitors are connected to the same outlet. Ideally, everything in your audio setup should be connected to the same outlet. However, that's not always possible. And even when it is, you might still experience ground loop noise. 
The most common cause of studio monitor noise, though, is probably the computer itself. The noise will be carried through the USB port, and it will typically sound like this. You can kind of hear the computer working. Sometimes just moving the mouse cursor back and forth can make a sound, which is far from ideal for music producers. To troubleshoot this, you'll have to start unplugging cables and devices to see if that cures the problem. If unplugging devices and changing outlets doesn't work, then I recommend buying a device like this. This is the iFi Defender Plus. It's a cheap but effective way to break ground loops by separating the power from the computer to the audio device. I recently got noise issues myself after buying a new USB-powered audio interface, and the iDefender Plus cured the problem. This is what's in the box. Just disconnect your audio interface, plug in the iDefender, and then plug the audio interface into it. Note, you'll have to plug in a USB charger here to supply it with power or it won't work. You can get this with USB A to A, C to A, and so on. As you can hear, the noise that I had is now completely gone. This is a cheap and simple way of eliminating computer noise from studio monitors. I'll put the Amazon link to the iDefender Plus in the description below so that you can check it out. I can see from the Amazon reviews that it didn't work for some people. In those cases, the issue was likely located elsewhere in their setup. This will only work if you actually have a ground loop issue related to your computer. One sure way to get rid of ground loop noise is to use another IFI device like this. This is the GND Defender. It will intelligently break any DC ground loop, like hum, computer noise, etc. You might need more than one though. For example, one for each studio monitor. This is a smart device, so your safety is preserved unlike some of those ground lifts, which can be a death trap. I've seen musicians removing grounding pins or taping over them to break the ground, and I strongly advise against that. The grounding is there for a reason. If there's a fault in your electrical system and you've disabled the grounding pin, then it could lead to a fire. You won't run that risk with one of these. Here's a good example of what it can do. Here I have a pair of powered studio monitors connected to a FireWire audio interface, which is connected to my computer. There's an annoying computer noise consistently in the background. I can hear it when I'm moving the mouse cursor and whenever the hard drive is working. I'm not sure how well the microphone will pick this up, but I'll remove the signal cable and make contact with the chassis itself, then it should be much more audible. There you go. This used to drive me nuts. So let's power off the computer and plug in the GND Defender. Now let's try it again. And there you go, silence. The ground loop has been eliminated and it's perfectly safe to use. This will work well if you experience ground loop noise when plugging in an electric guitar, for example, or other gear connected to your computer. If you have a USB powered audio interface, then the iDefender Plus will be a cheaper solution. I'll put the Amazon links to all these devices in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Again, there can be multiple reasons for ground loops. You'll have to identify the exact reason before you go ahead and buy anything. 
I should point out that in some cases, the noise might actually be caused by faulty equipment too. So again, you'll have to do some troubleshooting to figure out exactly what's causing it. For example, if you have a hiss in one studio monitor, but not the other, then try to switch the signal cables. If the noise moves to the other side, you know it's not the monitor. I'd like to know what kind of noise-related issues you're having. Let me know in the comments below. It would be interesting to see what's most common. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then please subscribe and hit that like button. Want to support this channel? Keep your money, share this video. If you need professional feedback on your music, mastering, and so on, then check out the links below. Thanks for watching.